Now, on WKRG News 5, election coverage you can count on. Brought to you by Alpha Insurance. Hello again, everyone. I'm Mel Showers. And I'm Roseanne Haven. As more votes roll in, the race between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump is getting even tighter. With about one third of the votes in nationwide, Donald Trump has 140 electoral college votes compared to Clinton's 104, which is similar to the popular vote, where Trump leads 49% to her 47%. Right now, both parties are celebrating election night in the Port City. We go to downtown Mobile, where News 5's Jack. Jacqueline Quinn is live at Kazula's in the midst of a Democratic watch party. What is the uh, the feel there, Jackie? Yeah, I'll tell you in just a minute here, but this was put on by the Bay Area Young Democrats and everybody right now. They're sort of looking at the TV screen. Otherwise, they're checking their phone because I guess they're feeling a little bit nervous. Now, I want to talk with somebody with that organization. Uh, tell us, you, what's your name really quick? Hi, I'm Erica Perkins. And now, you know, I guess the, the feeling around here is people are getting a little bit nervous. They're seeing that lead just a little. Um, but just tell me, what does it feel like right now to you? Well, we're a little nervous. We really want Florida. We know Alabama is going red. Um, so we're here for moral support always for Florida, and we really are hoping that we can pull out those 29 electoral votes from Florida. But we, it's still early. You know, we still have the West Coast, um, and there's an opportunity there. But, you know, it's the road to 270. Um, Hillary will get there first. All right, very good. And so the other thing i got to ask you a little bit about is, like, this year's ballot, not a lot of candidates. You're with the group. You know, how's that really going to change? Well, you know, the network was looking at the fact that there was so many uncontested seats. And I think just being that much more aware now during the presidential election, things will start to change and we will see um, young people and people who are passionate about our community come forth and represent as leaders in the political arena. Okay, and uh, you're a Democrat, you identify as Democrat. Now tell me a little bit, is it hard to be a Democrat down here just because so many people are Republican, I suppose? That's true. So I originally come from uh, a suburb of Chicago and there's a definite difference between uh, being there and then being a Democrat here in Alabama. However, I will say that joining the Undemocrat Democrats party. Uh, it's clear to me that it is alive and well and a very inclusive group and so uh, I think that there's a bright future for it. So you guys are very enthused right yes. now. Uh, again, you know, looking just at uh, the TV there, Trump is a little bit ahead. People here though expect to see a Hillary win uh, for now. We'll send it back to you guys. All right, we'll see. Mm -hmm, and thank you very much. And the Republicans are having a local watch party on <laughs> Airport Boulevard and that's where we find our Allison Spann. Hey, that's right, Mel. I, I am currently at the Republican Watch Party at Trump headquarters here in the Pine Brook Shopping Center. And I don't know if you can hear behind me, but everyone is cheering right now because Trump just won Ohio. There are several battleground states that have not yet been called, such as Florida and North Carolina. And I know people here are just hoping that those states do go red for Donald Trump. There's a lot of excitement. I think everyone here is pretty hopeful that they're going to go for Donald Trump. But right now, they're just too close to call. Uh, the feeling here is just excitement. And we will keep you updated about what's happening here as the night continues and as more of these battleground states are called. For now, reporting live from the Republican Watch Party and Trump headquarters, I'm Allison Spann for News 5. All right. Thank you, Allison. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Allison. And uh, we will continue our updates throughout the evening. We want you to stay tuned. We'll be back in about a half an hour. Keep it right here on News 5 for election coverage you can count on.